Steve asks, you've probably addressed this, but what length and how many radials do you use for your Wolf River coil? And uh, that I get that question a lot when I do a Parks on the Air activation with uh, the Wolf River coil on how I set up my radials. What I usually have is um, I got three radials. They are 30, they're about 33 feet in length. I keep them on a kite winder and there's a little clip on them so that I can clip it to the base of the antenna. And um, usually depending on the band, I may, I may um, unroll them most all the way or most of the way or, or half of the way. You know, usually about um, on 40 meters, I roll them out about three quarters of the way. On uh, 20 meters, usually it's about, you know, they're about halfway out. Um, try to, I roughly try to do not quite a quarter wave, but like a, like about a fifth of a wavelength for the radial. And um, I'll first, what I'll do is I'll pick a frequency and then use use the antenna analyzer to do a rough tune with the collar. And then when I get down as close as I can, I might, I'll, I'll start to fiddle with the coils, you know, bring them in a little bit or pull them out a little bit and then make a final adjustment with the collar. And I usually get down doing that. I get down to about 1.2 to one, give or take. Yeah. Uh, kite winders are amazing for um, portable activations. Not yeah. only can you put radials on them. I use a, uh, I use a kite winder for the bunny stick and that works great. Uh, but if you get a couple extra ones, you can wrap up paracord on them or some string or some rope. Uh, then you have plenty of rope for whatever you need to do. I have like 150 feet on one of them, you know, yeah. uh, some like quarter inch paracord. And that just comes in handy. So this past weekend when we did our activation, um, I broke that out for our 80 meters antenna. Um, but the same thing. So if you keep a counterpoise on there, another thing you can do is take some colored electrical tape. Mm-hmm. And put a little bit of tape on there for 20 meters, put a little tape on there for 30 meters or 40 meters, you know, so you don't have to like get out and measure it. Every yeah. time. You can just kind of, you know, guesstimate where it worked. And, um, you know, and then usually it's a half turn or maybe a quarter turn back and forth playing with those coil, those coils a little bit because RF doesn't go past the coil. So if you extend it out, it'll go farther and you bring it in, you know, you don't have to cut the wire in order to make it a resonance if you're at a quarter wavelength or whatever you're trying to do. Um, and that's that's how the buddy pole or the buddy stick works with their mm-hmm. radio. Um, and, it, it, you know, if you're like Michael and you use two radios or even three, you can use a few more radios. It, once you get, start getting more and more, uh, it's uh, diminishing returns. So two or three for portable operation is perfect. And, yeah, you know, exactly. Yeah, three, I, three is a little bit harder to tune, but you may get some more gain. Uh, you know, your mileage may vary. Uh, one, one isn't enough. Um, two is decent. You can, I can, I'm, I'm below one point five to one with two radials, and three is just gives me just, just, just a little bit more, a little bit more uh, performance. So two is fine, but you know, three is good. And when you get over five for portable. Um, then the the returns diminish it diminish greatly, and it's right. not you know the effort it takes to fiddle with five, seven, nine radials just isn't isn't worth it anymore. No, so. I wouldn't, I want to do more than three for portable operations. If you're setting up a, uh, a vertical in your backyard for permanent use, uh, yeah, yeah, then you want to get as much copper as you can in the ground. Uh, but for just going out on a Saturday afternoon. Two to three radios is more than enough, man. You'll mm-hmm. find that even adding a third radio, that's a lot more tuning. That's a lot more fiddling around. And, you know, when I go out to do an activation, I'm out there to make contacts. I'm not there to play for an hour with a, for an antenna. Well, I got to play with an antenna for an hour, I'm probably going home. Thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them, and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q&A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month, starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. 
That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.